Alright, as of this moment, I am officially late. It takes me 20 minutes to walk to class and class starts in 15, so... You know, I told myself this morning that I wouldn't be late. <laughs> but Nisha always finds a way. <sighs> it's a good day. like the biggest dumbass right now. <laughs> downstairs and hopefully cross my fingers I guess I don't fucking know Sounds like 50 women are getting murdered at the same time. Literally, what is all that screaming? My theory is there's a bunch of high schoolers visiting UCLA and they're like freaking out. Um, it happens really often when you go to like the number one public school in all of America. It is a bunch of. Okay, let me show you. That is so cute. Okay. I was wrong. They're not high schoolers. They're literally, they look like they're 12 years old. They start really young. All right, let me just give you like a brief rundown of my morning. So I was, I wasn't late. I was two minutes late, but I can totally explain. I have to walk every single morning because transfer students get put off campus instead of like the dorms that are on campus. And that's literally in Westwood, which is 20 minutes away from campus. So I mean, like I do that to myself. I choose not to take the bus because I like, I like walking. I sound like I'm trying to convince myself that I like walking. Honestly, if I don't walk, I literally would not get any exercise whatsoever. So if you ever visit like Westwood or UCLA, you're gonna notice a bunch of people like riding electric scooters or like electric skateboards. And honestly, I am just so tempted to get one. I'm so tempted to get like an electric skateboard, but I know that 
the second that I step on it, I'm just gonna eat shit. Like, so I get to my 10A English class, and that class is the reason why I have to lug this giant ass book around the Norton Anthology. So I get to my 10A class, which is basically just British literature from whatever, whatever, to like the 16th century. I'm just bringing shame to English majors everywhere. But I am liking what we're reading so far. We're reading Dr. Faustus, and it's essentially about a guy who sells his soul to the devil to gain power and forbidden knowledge. Just right up my alley. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like seeing it as a man who whose unbridled ambition led him to his own downfall. His only fault is the fact that he wanted more. And somehow I kind of relate because when you're a student, you're working towards like that A, you're working for like the next big thing. But where does that stop? I was, I like... Yeah, 6.50 from, from here down, all those three stacks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Literally, everybody saw me place the camera, walk 10 feet, just to walk back up and talk to you guys. Um. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I have my California literature class next, and when I tell you that I'm bringing shame to every single English major, it's... I didn't do the reading. I did not do the assigned reading. I'm so sorry for bringing shame to all English majors. Um, I'm gonna be late. Yeah, no, let's go. Oh no, I was just saying I was meeting my meeting. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Who else can say? I'm always saying that I'm not going to make up. I'm 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 and oh. the fact that he's not comfortable with himself, therefore he sees everyone as like tricks or like... Yeah, I, I kind of do. I, I kind of do. Well, I would... Well, I yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about other people? Did you hear... Could you repeat it just for oh, other people? Um, I was just going to say that like, uh, the protagonist's mistreatment of like his partners is due to some form of like internal homophobia. And the fact that like he was mistreated in society, therefore he kind of like covers that in himself mm -hmm. and takes it out on his lovers and that's why he can't like fully connect with them. Yeah, I think you've hit upon another I just got out of Powell. It is almost 6 p.m. But because of because of um, daylight savings times, like it just got so fucking cold. I'm like wearing triple layers right now, and I just want to go home, but I can't because I have detective fiction. Okay, but this is my third and final class, so I'm really happy about that. I can finally go home in two hours. Okay, let me find a place to vlog because I feel kind of insecure about doing this. Like. I do have 10 minutes left, so I'm gonna hit up a vending machine and probably get myself some some cheap dinner. 
technically I haven't even eaten breakfast or lunch. Um, that guy just looked at me like I'm a fucking weirdo because I'm holding a tripod with a camera on it. Ugh, whatever. Let's see what they have at the vending machines. This is what they don't tell you about being a broke ass college student, okay? Like, I'm literally fighting for my life out here. I am surviving on fucking granola bars and cheap coffee. Okay, oddly enough, I'm not hungry because I had like, I had my granola bar for lunch. I had coffee. Uh, I think I'm gonna just go for another coffee. Okay, how much is it? No. <laughs> Wait, do you guys see that? It's malfunctioning. <laughs> Where are you going? My, my, my drink is right there. That was weird. Um, I've never had a vending machine malfunction on me. I'm guessing that's a sign that I don't need food today. Okay, this is my um, detective fiction class and um, to bring even more shame to all English majors everywhere, I didn't do the reading, but I genuinely have a good excuses because it's finals season and I'm just trying to churn out a bunch of essays right now, so don't you judge me. Don't you dare judge me. <laughs> Did you come us? Did you call me? Yeah. Yeah, do you mind being in my vlog? No. <laughs> okay, are you vlogging? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I was vlogging the entire Okay, this is my friend Helen. Yeah. Who hasn't been in class <laughs> for how long now? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Oh, right. well, are you heading this way? Because I'm heading that way. You're going that way. Yeah. Did you lose your car? I, yeah, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I never know how to get Is it that way? Alright. That was Helen. She was super sweet. Or she is super sweet. Now I gotta get home because I'm fucking freezing my ass off. I also ate a second granola bar in class. Okay, so as of 7.25 today, my stomach consists of a cup of coffee, two granola bars, and a Ziploc bag of Doritos. This is what they don't tell you about being a broke-ass college student. Like, I haven't had a proper meal all day, and I'm going home to fucking leftovers which honestly i don't give a shit about because like at least i get to save money i've also been thinking a lot about like the elementary students that came to visit ucla and seeing them coming to such a prolific school and being like you know what i want to be there one day like that kind of that kind of ambition is somewhat lost in me at the moment i don't mean to rant but with everything that's been going on i feel like i've i've been losing that sense of ambition or at least like it's just like one thing after the other but there's no end and you never really know when to stop so it basically just becomes like oh my god focus on me i've i've been feeling demotivated but i want to do things if you get what i mean stop focusing on royce focus on me That's like the fourth Hollywood premiere I've seen happening in Westwood. And I feel like there's there has been more. Like well, you've been here a year. I've, I've only been here like I don't know, but like that there was one week that, that we just had Michelle. Fucking Michelle. Okay, yeah. That's like one of the best parts about living in Westwood is the fact that like movie premieres just happen all the time. I saw Michelle Yeoh once. Um, Harry Styles was there once. I just got back and it's actually really late at night. I got home after Target um, at around 9, 9 p.m. Made some ramen, a very healthy, nutritious dinner to a very starving day, but that's besides the point. Anyways, um, to recap my day, um, 
classes went by pretty quickly today actually like i wasn't like dying to get home interestingly enough besides that i think you can tell by my voice that i'm super tired and i'm just ready to knock out right now so i could wake up tomorrow and be even more productive than i was today so um this is probably gonna be goodbye i'm gonna go take a nice hot shower there's nothing like a really hot shower on a cold windy night like i'm just looking forward to that getting into my like warm little pajamas and knocking the fuck out anyways i hope you enjoy this video of my day at ucla and i don't know maybe you learned something maybe you didn't um anyways i hope you enjoyed this video of me um just walking around ucla doing my thing um but anyways yeah i i'm gonna see if i can get any work done if not i'm not gonna push myself because i've learned that if you are tired and you keep pushing yourself to do work you're gonna make you're gonna put like you're just gonna half-ass whatever you're working on so it's really not worth it you're jeopardizing your grade you're jeopardizing literally everything so yeah anyways um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye